Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today we're going to cook this entire package of chicken drumsticks in our Ninja Foodie 8 quart pressure cooker with Smart Lid. And today we'll be using that new feature called Steam and Crisp. It's one of my favorite features so far. Uh, it just does everything so well. <laughs> uh, it's pretty amazing. We're going to add uh, some water into the bottom of the pot. We're going to place all of these. Look at the size of these. That's as big as my hand, that drumstick. These are massive. We're just going to haphazardly throw these into the basket. Uh, we're going to hit steam and crisp for, I think, 425, I think, for about 25 minutes. We'll flip them halfway through. Um, and that's that. Uh, these are pre-seasoned. Um, we bought these in Texas near San Antonio through a company called HEB, very, very, very big company in Texas. And uh, these are barbecue flavored, but it's kind of a Texas style seasoning. We've had a few other products like this, like pork chops, so we like the seasoning. Uh, it's not super spicy, it's not sweet, it's just, it's there, it's good, it's savory. Um, it just kind of says barbecue seasoning, so it doesn't really tell you what's in it. Paprika, of course, a lot of that. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get our basket ready. We're just going to give a little Pam in the basket, just a light spray over the sink. And uh, we'll go ahead and get these uh, drumsticks in. So I've got a little of this Pam. This is the only kind of Pam that I will ever spray on my foodie. This is a canola oil blend. Um, I've used this for five years in my various foodies. And um, you really have not had too much problem. You get the, you get, oh, I mean, over five years, you start to get a little buildup. Uh, normally, I don't need it at all, depending on what I'm cooking. I know I'm cooking chicken wings, and anything that's got a skin on it tends to stick, even though this is non-stick. So I'm going to go over to the sink, and I'm going to very lightly spray this and a little on the sides, because we are going to be stacking in here. And um, then we'll go ahead and get our chicken thighs. Uh, did I say thighs? We're gonna get our drumsticks in here. I'm not too concerned about the way I place these in because I will be um, shuffling things around about halfway through and we're using the steam and crisp method. So we're gonna get a lot of cooking, a lot of steam coming from the top, coming from the bottom. We'll have the air fryer coming in from the top. So um, we're just gonna kinda wing it. Ha! Huh? It was a, sort of a joke, <laughs> even though these aren't wings. <laughs> so, um, about halfway through, I'll probably pull these out onto a plate, move the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, and uh, there we go. Isn't that a nice sight? All right, next up, I'm going to put one cup of water into the foodie pot. One cup of water. No, it doesn't look like much, but we don't need much. We just need to make a little steam. Okay, let's talk about this. Now, normally, you'd think, oh, well, we gotta put that on seal. It did make no difference at all. We're doing steam and crisp. Our steam will be coming out of the back. This is where your steam comes out for steam and crisp. And that's important to know, because if you're positioning this device uh, under a countertop or something like that, and you're thinking, okay, I'm over here, and I've got, I've got this out of, out of the way of the steam, you might be wrong, because all this steam and is gonna go where you don't want it. And let me tell you right now, when we're talking steam, we are seriously talking steam. I mean, a lot of steam is going to come out of there. Okay, enough about steam. Power up. The steam and crisp lid, the smart lid, they call it, has three positions on this slider. All the way over here is pressure. And that uh, sets it to pressure and locks the lid for you. The middle position is steam and crisp and steam and bake. Steam and bake is primarily used for cooking um, cakes and things like that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, because I will be doing multiple cakes in here, and um, we'll be using steam and bake. But today, we're going to use steam and crisp. This is pretty obvious. This is your time. I'm going to go uh, with four... Mm, let me think about this for a second. I'm going to go with 400 because I'm going to do a longer cook. 
Uh, 20 minutes. I'd like to get 25 minutes. And I am going to do a flip. Oops. <laughs> I'm talking and just keep holding the button. And uh, that's pretty much all we need to do, except that. It's going to take, uh, depending on how much water you have in there, uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes on preheat to begin to make the steam. Uh, the Ninja Foodi is very smart. It will regulate the air fryer lid up here and the steam. It'll just kind of bounce back and forth, and it'll do what it needs to do. Um, so you may hear the fan spinning like crazy one minute, and then you don't hear the fan at all. That's perfectly normal. That's what it's supposed to do. And we'll see you guys back in a little while for the flip over, the halfway point. All right, everybody, we're going to do a little flip now. I'm just going to stop it. Just remember where we were. I mean, I could have just lifted the lid to pause it, but uh, for the camera, I'm just going to stop it for you for a sec. We're going to lift this lid up very slowly. There's a lot of steam, a lot of action. And let's see if I can get this up higher and closer. Oh, we're sounding good in there. So what we're going to do is just very simply take the ones from the top. I've got a bowl. I'm just sticking them in a bowl over here. So we're going to all, oh man, the skin is crispy. That's nice. So those will end up on the bottom. And these will end up on the top. You get some of them top ones back on the bottom. Make some room down here. These go to the top. And this goes okay. so the bottom is the bottom, and the top is the bottom, and the bottom is the top, or something like that. And this is also the point if you feel like you've run out of water or you need more water in there for more steam. Uh, let's take a quick peek and see how we're doing. Um, give it a little shake. It's a little low on water. Um, I could probably use just a, maybe another half a cup, so I'll go ahead and just dump that in. So when you're adding water like this, you want to just get it between the, the basket and the pot. You don't want to get your meat or whatever you're cooking, or you don't want to get it wet. And it doesn't take much to make a lot of steam either. All right, down we go. Now, it, because I hit the off button, instead of just lifting it to pause it, it reset itself back to the normal temperatures um, and that's okay for the second half of this I'm gonna leave that at 390 I'm gonna bring this down to about 10 minutes 12 minutes let's do 12 minutes um, because they're looking pretty good in there and I don't want to overcook anything and um, and that's it it didn't need a preheat that time because it was um, already pretty hot and I'm going to just let that go for half a second. You can hear the air fryer fan already spinning up. And we'll probably see a little steam coming out in a minute. And we'll see you back at the end. We'll do a temperature test and uh, take a bite. All right, time is up. Let's give it a test. Oh, we are looking mighty crispy there. Beautiful crispy. Close up there. Wow, I <laughs> love that sizzle. All right, let's get one out into the bowl and we're going to do a temperature test real quick and you get to see what i see thermal pen inch to read right i'm going to touch the bone touching the bone 188 I'm going to touch the bone on the bottom well try to touch the bone on the, there we go got the bone on the top 190 that is it this chicken is cooked came out spectacularly i'm working on my little bit of a side dish elsewhere I'm gonna have a little couscous with vegetable to go with this and uh, that could have been done also in the pot with steam and chris I, I already had some so it's a leftover uh so let me get that finished up and we're gonna take a big old bite Let's just cut.
cut a little piece off. Super tender, that just fell off. Just falling apart over here, guys. All right, let's go for that one. Little skin. Perfectly cooked, super juicy. So tender. Mm. Seasoning is great. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Maybe you guys can give this a try in your foodie. Let me know how it comes out. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. And please hit that thumbs up. YouTube just seems to love that thumbs up. I will see you soon on the next video.